beautiful people, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or for those of you who are new here, my name is Eleftheria. Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PhoneGap and how to build your very first app. Let's get started! Okay, so the very first step is going to be to have a text editor. I'm pretty sure you have one, but if you don't, here are some suggestions. Uh, you can use, for example, Atom, Notepad++, or you can use Sublime, which is the one that I'm going to be using. For a reference, here on my YouTube channel, I have this video, five free offline text editors for Windows, Mac and Linux. So a uh, link will be in the description box. So if you don't know which one to use, then please watch that video. All right, that was step one. Now let's go to step number two. We go on this page, which is again on Adobe's PhoneGap page. Link will be in the description box. And here I am on configuring. So we have have to configure a file. We are going to have a config XML file. So I'm going to take this example right here, just copy and I'm going to sublime. I'm going to paste it right here and I can use this as it is. I don't have to change anything, but if you want to change something, then I would suggest you to change the name. Uh, for me, let's say it's okay. And then as for the author's name, again, I'm going to keep my name and that's it. I'm going to hit Control S and if you're using Windows do the same thing. But now I also have to change my file. To do so I'm going to create a new folder. My folder is going to be something like phone gaps um, up but of course you can use whatever you want and I'm going inside this folder and here I'm going to name this config.xml. Uh, you have to use config.xml. This is how you save your file. I'm going to click on save. Here is the folder and also here is the file, config.xml. Cool. Now the second thing that you will need is let's go to create another file. And we are going to save this one as index.html. Again, the name has to be index.html. So I'm going to save it. All right, and now I'm going to hit HTML like this. And if you are using also Sublime, you can just hit H and add. And you will have something like this. Now for the title, um, I'm going to have L F title. Okay, for the head, I don't need um, anything else. And then for the body, let's keep H1. And here I'm going to have like my first header. And what else should we have? Maybe a paragraph. Okay. And in the paragraph, we are going to say, hi, this is a paragraph. Cool. If you want something more, if you want something extra, you can also have a button. Um, I'm going to add inside this button an on-click function. Oops. Let's have it like this. All right, an on-click function with an alert. And let's say, um, OMG, this is a working button. Cool, and now we also have that one. And the last thing that we have to do is to give this like a click me. I'm going to save it. Let's go in the folder. I'm going to open the index. Here it is. Let's make it a little bit smaller. 
so it looks more like a phone or a tablet or whatever you're using uh, my first hater hi this is a paragraph and click me oh my gee this is a working button cool all right now that we have that let me change that these two files i'm going to make them as a zip you can name the zip however you want i'm going to name them as lf1 okay so now let's actually go to the next step which is using the phone gap I am on build.phonegap.com and of course the link is going to be in the description box. So from here you have to sign in if you haven't already, uh, sign in or register. I will go with continue with Google. It is a very simple and standard procedure and click on done. And that's it, you just redirect it in build.phonegap.com slash apps. Okay, uh, let's close this one and now I'm going to use upload a zip file as that's what we did in the previous step. I'm going to locate my folder. I'm going to choose uh, the zip file. And from there, my file is being uploaded. Yeah, alrighty. And now it's time to hit ready to build. And this is a process that usually takes up less than a minute. And we are going to have a build for iOS, Android devices and Windows phones. Okay, so from here the procedure is really, really simple. Just open your camera and scan this code. I cannot show you that, but I can guide you through that. If you are using an Android phone, then probably you will get a message as you scan this um, image that says this type of file can harm your device. Don't worry about that. Just click um, uh, the thing to continue. Then the next thing that you will see is that your app is going to be download so just hit open the last thing is that you have to actually install the app this is going to take no time at all if you get another message that says blocked by play protect then just click install anyway not okay but install anyway don't worry about that so now you should see your first app Hit the click me and you will see that you get everything correctly. If you want to continue and do something extra with me, then I have for you another task and let's see that. I'm going back to the phone gaps up folder and now I also downloaded an image. This image is a small one, is actually an icon as we are going to update the icon of our app. So I have named this as an icon.png and the dimensions are uh, 256 to 256. If you want for a better resolution, you can actually download or create an even smaller file. Just save it as icon.png. Okay, let's go back to our code and more specifically to the config.xml. I will go after the author and I will have it as an icon and inside the icon I'm going to add the CRC equals and for me this is icon.png. I am going here and I'm going to change the version to 1.0. Uh, let's say 1. I'm going to hit Ctrl S. I'm going back here. I'm going to delete this zip file and I'm going to create a new one. So again, let's go to send to create your zip. Uh, let's say config is okay. I am going back again here and I will click on update code, choose file. I'm going to choose my new zip file 
okay click on upload and you will have to wait maybe for a minute or so something that i forgot to mention is if you cannot uh, scan through this image is probably because you have a lot of open tabs in your browsers on your phone browsers so my big tip here is to close all of your tabs in the chrome or whatever you're using and then try to scan the image again this will save you all right so now my build is ready so i am going to download it once again so now as you can see in this image you have everything, you have your icon. That was a wrap, don't forget that everything is going to be down in the description box. That was it guys, I hope that you enjoyed it, that video and if you did, please don't forget to like, share it with your friends, leave a comment and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, see you really soon and have a beautiful, awesome coding day.